From 1996 to 2012, Perry County football was extremely competitive. Even though a good year in Linden was 4-6, and 5-5, five and five, or 6-4, and four, you knew you were in for a fight against the Vikings on the gridiron. Around the same time, the Junior Pro Football Program was born as well. Every Saturday night at Vikings Stadium, people turned out to see what the future may hold for the Vikings football program. Every year, it seemed to get better and better. When the junior pro program was doing well, so was the middle school and high schools. In 2006, Linden Middle School won the Independence Bowl in Williamson County and was the only school in that tournament not from Williamson County. The high school had an overall record of 35 wins and 32 losses from 2005 to 2011, including a 28-9 and record from 2009 and 2011. In 2014, the Junior Pro football program folded, and for the first time in 18 years, there would not be Saturday Night Lights in the fall. From 2014 to 2017, the Vikings football program showed what it was like to not have a feeder program that would get kids ready for middle and high school football. The high school's overall record was 5 wins and 35 losses in those four years. In 2018, Ryan Hensley, a Perry County High School alum and ex-Viking football player, decided to rebuild the program from the ground up in hopes to see the interest and love for football thrive in this county once again. I sat down with Coach Ryan to talk about how important it is to have a junior pro football and cheerleading program and how it can be a positive not only for the kids but for the community. You know, Coach, you basically built this program from the ground up in 2018. What, What made you say to yourself... We need a junior pro football back in Perry County. Well, during that time, my son, he actually turned five and wanted to play football. And without us having football, we had to travel to Lewis County to give him the opportunity to play. So we played there one year and then came back the next year. And my daughters, they actually wanted to cheer. So they started playing football and cheering. And the director over Lewis County actually became the league president during this time. And he came up to me and asked me about bringing the program back to Perry County and I thought about it long and hard before I ever told him yeah but you know ultimately I knew there was a lot of kids in the county that needed this you know needed to come out and have a a sport they could go and be involved in so I was I was glad to bring it back. How excited was not only the kids but the parents of the junior pro kids to know that there was a program coming back after a four years after four years it, they were excited but in, in the beginning you could tell everyone was you know pretty skeptical over it because of the way that it started off in the last time and before it shut down you know everybody got excited about it and then just kind of went away so once you got past that part everybody was you know really excited to have it back and give it a try what was it like to see your hard work of rebuilding a program just a year before last year, come to life in only year two. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, it's things you never dreamed that where we could be in, you know, the next year. And even this year, starting off, we were how far above the last year we've became already, you know. I mean, it's everybody just seems to be falling in place, and, you know, everything's turning out good. Really excited. Playing against, obviously, bigger teams, bigger communities, like Columbia, Fairview, Dixon. How important is it to have as many players and cheerleaders as you can to not only get more involved, but to have more depth during games? Oh, it's tremendously important. I mean, you know, most of our teams are, you know, we're on the thin side of it of, you know, 12, 13 players. And you go to these other places where they've got 40 and 50 kids on the sideline, it's it's hard to compete with that, you know. but. We've been chopping away at it and finally getting back on the level playing field, but still hard to to compete with the number system, you know. Guys, they get tired over time, you know. How important is it to you to see these kids play on Saturday nights on on the exact same field that they're going to be playing in a couple years in middle school and then obviously four years in high school? Uh, It's great. I mean, you know, they start out here and they, they continue to grow and step up onto a bigger playing a bigger stage each and every time so I mean you know it's taking that nervous system away from them and you know showing them what it's like you know to be a part of it all. What's your message to parents to that may not be on that may be on the fence of letting their kids join the Perry County Junior Pro Football and Cheerleading Program for next year and years to come like what what is something that you would like to tell them if you can? 
Well, I hear a lot of parents say, you know, my kid's too small, my kid's too young, you know, and, you know, a lot of worries about concussions and stuff like that. But, you know, and that's what I tell them, this is what this is all about. We start them on a platform where they're level with other kids their same age, you know, where they can start off and we can teach the fundamentals instead of being thrown in five, six, seven, even eight years later than other teams that they're going to play against once they get into middle school and high school. So, you know, I... I really wish they would come out and just give it a try and let us let us show them what it's all about, you know. It, it can be a great thing. And, you know, at the end of every practice, I mean, before games and end of every practice, you know, we come together, we pray. You know, it's we, when we break our huddle, it's, you know, it's own family, you know, because it, it builds more than just football. You know, it's it teaches life lessons, you know, and, uh, you know, some kids may not have that in their life, you know, and we try to, put forth that and try to help out in every way we can, you know, not only about football. If you would like to be a part of this football family, get a hold of Ryan Hensley or send them a message on their Facebook page at Perry County JR Pro Football. These future Vikings and cheerleaders may be outmanned in a lot of their games, but that doesn't phase them one bit. These players, cheerleaders, and coaches do this for the love of the game, to show that Viking pride and to put Perry County football back on the map in Tennessee. From Viking Stadium, Jay Henson, WOPC Sports. Let's go, bring it in. Let's go, bring it in.